Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And Knipex just released two brand new pliers. And essentially what they are is a longer version of this one and a metric version of this one. So let's start with this. This is their kind of combination needle nose plier. It's a needle nose plier that I did a video on. It's got kind of a unique feature up here. You notice that sort of um, cut a little bit funny. What that does is if you grab something um, like this, some, some flat or tapered material, it gives it a three point uh, contact with it. So it keeps it from kind of spinning around. Whereas if you grab something with just a traditional needle nose, it tends to hit in two points, allowing it a point of rotation. So they came out with a 185 millimeter version of this. Now, 185 millimeters, like this one's, this is 160 here, this one was 145, so it's gonna be bigger than that. It's about this size. So if you can imagine them scaling up this plier into this size. So you're getting all of the features of this, this uh, really super handy, you know, exquisitely made, well-engineered Knipex um, 0822 in a longer, longer reach, probably slightly bigger jaw is my guess. So that's one of the updates there. Um, I might as well jump there. I'm guessing, you know, just looking at these two, if I measure this thing, this thing, uh, this particular Knipex kind of all plastic plier here is about 185 millimeters. If I take a look at the super popular but hard to get snap on LN46 ACF, it is, if you go out to the drip, about 85 millimeters. I mean, 185 millimeters. So it is a direct competitor, essentially, to something like this. Now, it does have different features, but if you look at what this thing's capable of, um, this is more of the same, you know, just in a little bit bigger piece, as far as, uh, you know, anti-twisting on the tips, being able to grab larger bolts, round stock there, flat, and cutters. The cutters are not that great on here. They're little tiny ones, but it's going to be this size. So we'll wait and see. I'll try to get my hands on some because I really, really like these pliers. The second one they've got is pretty much identical to this, except instead of using this, you, you see here we've got essentially 10 to 20 gauge for the different wire sizes of the stripper here. On the, uh, the new Knipex version, this one here is, um, this is the 1372 for 10 to 20 gauge. Um, it is about half a millimeter to um, about six millimeters is the size range of the metric version of this. But otherwise, as far as I can tell, everything else is identical, comes in the different handles, um, same, same width, same features, same cutting, etc. So they're going after the metric or European version, um, which I guess there's a lot of specialty things that use the metric sized wires. Um, frankly, a lot of times I almost wing it trying to grab stuff, but that's that's the other new player here. So anyway, that's, that's Knipex's update. So you're gonna have, here's another, this is a 180, so you can see, you know, I'm trying to get the feel for what that player would be like. Um, those 160s probably aren't big enough. So it's gonna be a larger player with all of those features and a metric version should you be doing metric wire work. But anyway, those are Knipex's updates. They also have a bunch of storage solutions, um, mobility solutions. I've played around with some. I've got this, this uh, Knipex bag here. Um, I was gonna do a video on it. Uh, you can see inside, let me back it up here so you can see. Inside it's got different storage capabilities plus a, uh, a computer section at the top or books, etc. cetera. Um, but this Knipex one, uh, it's good. It's, it's interesting, um, but I'm glad Knipex is upping their game with their, um, with their uh, mobility solutions because there really is a, a need for innovation in that space. Oh, by the way, this monster here, throw that out. We are looking at about um, 245 millimeters is what that is. So it's going to be, you know, a substantially smaller, but it, I, I would guess it's, it's kind of a shot across the bow with the success of this thing. 
Um, hopefully it'll be more available. Anyway, with that, Doc out.